Hello everyone, we hope you're well. Now today, we've been out shopping and we nipped in the butchers. Mate, we can't resist the bargain, look. What are we going to have for tea? We don't care, mate. If it's got money off, <laughs> we'll have it. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but what it is, these pork steaks, they're beautiful. Now, usually we buy them plain, but what we've found is if you use a sous vide, this coating, we had some steak and we've actually got a little bit more, that was cheap and all. But this coating, if you do sous vide, it doesn't come off, you know, you fry it in the pan off and it disappears, well, it seems to. And this has got stuffing in the middle. So we thought, uh, we'll give that a go. Now, can you see, can you read that if you want to? Just pause it, that's the best way. Anyway, it was £2.49 for two pork steaks. Now. We think these are quite good. Now, I said to Wendy, I think if we sous vide this, it stays so moist, I really enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do. And also, we bought some new potatoes and we've got these mushrooms. They were, oh, I don't know, 69p, something like that. So all of a sudden, we've got tonight's dinner. Now, because I'm going to sous vide it, I tend to leave one like that in the cupboard it seems to help and as i've told you i removed the seal uh, you don't necessarily need the seal let me just put that on there for a second now we're not going to need these today mate are we well that's not true we might do the potatoes in there in fact i'm sure i will so we'll remove these and then it's a case of Graham is going to have to seal these. Let's get my machine out and get it sorted out. I'll bring you back. Right, now I brought you back because now anybody who's seen us has seen this lots of times now, mate. I'm, all I'm doing is sealing them in the bag. But what I want to try and do, I think it is anyway, but just make sure that that's clean so that it can seal should be okay at that I think we were anyway to be honest now let's just open this right so what we're gonna do we're going to seal that bag so we just put that on there <coughs> now we want the air out of here that bag is only just big enough really isn't it Let's go for it. Vacuum and seal. Right, this only takes a few seconds, so I thought we'll go through it again. There's no harm done. If you're sick of seeing this, you'll have to tell me. I think it's struggling to seal. I think we've got air getting in there. Oh, no, it's done it. Now, I thought that wasn't going to work. There is the odd time when it doesn't work because we get something in there. And, of course, you've already seen that. I've been through all that. I'll throw that away in a second. Right, let's get this open. Ah, it hasn't worked. The bag's folded there. Right, I thought there was something wrong. Let's... Right, I see now. Now that, that I think is pilot error. Definitely, look. I've not got that in properly. You, you... There we go. That's got it. Got it. Now I always put a second seal on here. That shouldn't take very long at all. There we go. Right. That's got double seal on there. 
let me bring you back right i said let me bring you back i didn't show you look you can see the double seal on there that's got that sealed in beautiful now took a little bit of doing i think the bag's getting a bit small isn't it i'm soon gonna have to throw that away oh dear right now the water's cooled down a little let's get this tipped in here So long as the meat's covered, that's the main thing. And what we'll do, we'll check the temperature. Let's get that switched on. That's at 75. Well, I think we want about 65. Um, so that needs to cool off slightly. In the meantime, I don't think it's going to work to be honest. It'll soon cool down because of the coldness of the actual container. Now I'm going to put a seal in here. Now, as I recently mentioned, we've got a good choice of seals now. So we can use which we like. Look, shall we go? Uh, I've not really used them for anything in particular at the moment. We'll. Uh, I think we'll go with the green. Ah, we'll go with the green one. Typical <laughs> Wendy look, you know we haven't got one. <laughs> right, let's put that one in. Now, personally, I don't think you really you don't really need the seal for this. Because you've got to allow the steam out, but we'll put it in because the machine comes fitted with a seal. Because I've been a bit naughty not been putting it in a couple of times, but Let's go with it. Look, that seal's in now. You see that? So, that is a little hot at the minute. What we'll do, we'll press sous vide, which is just there, look. Well, we will if I can get it on. Ah, there we go. That's on 71. I'm sure we want 66, 65. We do it for pork. So we'll set that to that now. And as I say, we are still 70 degrees, but it will drop slightly, so that's fine. I've realized that now. Eventually the penny drops. Right, lock the lid on. We want the vent open. That's now open, because we're sous vide Right, press start. That's our job done now. It's great. Let me show you the front a little better. Right, as you can see there now, I've started it. I've even forgot to press start before, you know, but you realise because you start doing this and that will gradually move along as it cooks. I know what I didn't do. I didn't set the time. Let's have a look because I want two hours. Um, we press sous vide again. It is on two hours. I actually thought it was. And we've set the temperature to 65. Now, I'm going to go away and double check that temperature. But at this minute in time, I think that's right. So I'll go and check. And if it's any different, I'll bring you back. Other than that, we'll see you in about an hour and a half, two hours. Right, I brought you back. Because as you can see there, we had two hours. We've got 57 minutes to go. Now, Graham, I would normally leave that probably for another hour. But time's getting on. And we need our tea. So what I'm actually going to do, as you know, that's on vent. So you can remove the lid. Now, this should be cooked in this time. Look at that <laughs> I think that's done all right look at it and we're gonna actually put it in the air fryer as well so what we're going to do now is get our basket out Get our new potatoes washed and get them in there quick. I'll bring you back while I wash these out. Well, 
for want of a better way of putting it, I've washed my taters. Right, I tipped a little bit of water out of there actually, because it was a little too much. I don't want the potatoes sitting in the water, I want them to steam. Right, let's get my lid back on. Very clear here, are we? Look. Now we're going to put these on pressure cook. We certainly don't want 23 minutes, Graham. I must have been cooking something good there. Oh dear, oh dear, come on. Now, potatoes and new potatoes can be funny things. I'm going for 12 minutes. We don't need keep warm. The vent is sealed. We're on pressure cook. We're all ready to go. So all I've got to do now is get this into the air fryer. I'll bring you back. Right, I've brought you back because the potatoes are on. I've undone the meat and that's what we've got, look. There's our sous vide pork. That just, it actually looks all right as it is, but I'm gonna put it in there. And look at them, size of them mushrooms, they're massive. Right, let me put you back. Right, let's get these in. that in the right place. That's again Graham. I'll tell you what, I wish I had a pound for every time I've done that. <laughs> right, as well as everything else I've done. Um, right, I've got to come behind and sort the plugs out. Give me a second. Right, we're plugged in. Let's get it switched on. Now what we're going to do, that's set on 230 for five minutes. Let's put the time on. I think we'll go 15. Just to make sure the mushrooms are done. Now if we have to take take things out, we will. It's not a problem, is it? And we'll go, I think we'll go 200. Right, let's see what we look like. Nothing flapping around loose in there, is there? And again, I've been reminded today, and I've done it again. I really should warm the oven before I put the meat in. Let me pull it out. There we go. Right, I shall warm this up for about five minutes. I'll tell you what, I'll put that on 20 minutes. And then about five minutes, or a bit less. We'll put the meat back in there. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting about this. I get reminded and I still forget. Right, we've had about four minutes warming up. Let's just get those in. Oh, that feels warm now. Right, off we go. I'm sure we're okay in there. We're fine. Right, I'll bring you back. Well, as you can see through the window, they're cooking all right. 11 minutes left to go on there. I'll turn them around soon. I forgot to mention we've put oil and garlic onto the mushrooms. Just give them a bit more flavour really because they're big old mushrooms they are. Right we'll carry on and bring you back. Right as you can see there we've got six minutes left and they look all right they do. Turn these over actually. Give them a bit of colour on that side. Seems like. Just flip them over. There we go. I think that's going to be about the right amount of time. I think I'll be bringing you back in six minutes, it'll be finished. Now just uh, as I was showing you that, that's beep, look, that's finished now, that's just finished. It's not released yet, so we'll just leave it until we're ready. And it'll all be done at the same time, eh? <laughs> we better look. Right, that's finished now, and they look all right to me, they're going to be fine. We know they're cooked, they've been in the sous vide, and they've been in here, so we know they're fine. Uh, yeah, 
Come on, Brian. Check the temperature. Finding the uh, the sous vide method is very uh, consistent. Although, to be fair, I've left it for the hour, haven't I? Let's get the porky pig on 77. <laughs> Come on, let's have a look. Right, there's our two dinners tonight, and that's sous vide pork, and that pork's got all um, um, a coating around the outside, and it's also stuffed with uh, stuffing, so that's going to be nice. Actually, I think I'm missing some peas on there. I didn't think to do any. Mate, we've been dashing about again, haven't we? That'll do me for now. Um, the other thing is, this is not really goodbye because I've got something else to tell you. We've got some news. But I'm going to go and eat my dinner first, so I won't clear off if I were you. Don't worry, don't feel too sorry for me because we've got a lump of cherry pie in there. To be honest, that's another one. They're on offer, mate, we buy them. <laughs> it's only one of them cheap ones, but it's all right. Get a bit of custard on there. Lovely pudding. Hello everyone, now I've, I've just come back to you because we've done that bit of a dinner and the object of that really is I was going to do a proper video but to be honest I've rushed it a bit because I wanted to show you the sous vide on the pork. Now that pork was fantastic with that stuffing in the middle and that coating around the outside, that was really nice. I know it seems a bit strange because I sat, I sat down to my dinner I said to Wendy where's my peas and my gravy? I think she thought the same, but she left me to do the dinner and I've been rushing about, mate. I know it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But there's been a lot of to and fro in today um, <clears throat> with Ipercentia. And um, what's happened is they're launching a, a competition. Now, if Graham gets this right, you'll be viewing this video on the 12th of March. I think that was a Tuesday, I feel sure it was. And they've asked me to, to launch this on my site because I've told them a lot of people that watch this have bought the Ipercentia. Well, I know you have because you've told me you have. So we thought, here's a good chance. Now, what it is, right, they've sent this to me and they've put Hi Graham and Wendy. So somebody out there does know his name. <laughs> Spoke to him before, mate. Oh, it pals, didn't we? <laughs> right. It says here we've got a, an exciting opportunity, and I'm reading this, mate, because I ain't going to remember. We've an exciting opportunity coming up, and we'd love you to take part uh, on the 12th of March. We're launching a giveaway with a simple three-step participation process. Hello, everyone. I've had to cut that video short and start again. I sapientia. I've changed what they're doing and what it is they've got a three-step giveaway and the first step is you have to follow them on Facebook and the second step is you have to visit their official website which I shall put just here so you can see and I'll put the link in as well um, and also you've got to register your information in the blog section so we, when you go onto their website you, there's a blog section and you have to register on there now i don't really understand how all the, this all works i'm hoping you do but have a go at the competition that's all i can say to you it'll be all over everywhere this is just to remind you to put in for it so just have a look go onto the website and find out but there's three steps to registering and that's what you have to do now First prize is the brand new uh, I Sapientia um, dual, dual Zone Air Fryer. I mean, this is, it's only just come out. We, we should be getting one, we've not got it yet, but it's, it's out now. You've probably seen it on Amazon, you can buy it on there. Now, 
the lucky winner is going to win one of those. Right, now for the second prize, two people are going to win the iSapientia 24 litre, like we've got and use quite often. That's a good air fryer. And that is two second prizes. Now the third prize, um, t on the third prize, 10 people are going to win the basket. Now I'll put the picture up here, it's probably there now. It's the basket that you put on the rotisserie for doing your fries and your chicken nuggets and all that. And uh, they, they look all right, we could do with one of them. It looks a good bit of kit. Um, and what it is, for everybody who, who wants to buy the um, air fryer on Amazon, there's a 10% discount code. So you'll get 10% off the price. Now, I don't know exactly what the price is yet, but it's on Amazon. I'm not in my usual surroundings, you can see that. So I've had to do this a little bit different. So all I can say is, this is just a reminder from me. Have a good look. Now I'll put the information up here and the links in the description. So you have a good look because I'm having a little trouble uh, accessing the internet at the minute. This is this is a bit of a job. I say, I'm not in my usual position, am I? But uh, anyway, the main thing is, I didn't want you all to miss out. Have a go. First prize is that brand new air fryer. Mate, even the second prize, there's two of those and they'd be great. I mean, obviously we, we'd like one. We've got one, haven't we? And they're the great they are. Uh, and 10 people are gonna win that basket. Now, everybody who purchases something, I, I think it's actually purchasing the new air fryer or get a 10% discount, but just check that out to make sure. Um, see if i can see where it actually tells you on here somewhere yeah for everybody who who wants to buy the new 22 litre ice happy anterior air fryer the dual zone one there's a 10 percent discount code well there's no doubt if you go on amazon you'll see that it'll be there right that's it that's all i've got to say now good luck to everybody i want everybody to win so i hope you all get one I wouldn't mind the second prize or even the third. So the first prize should be fantastic. We'll find out, won't we? Anyway, once again, good luck. I didn't want you to miss out.